Here's a short video about some exciting stuff going on in the world of molten salt reactors and nuclear advocacy. First, I want to congratulate Ed File of Elysium Industries. His presentation at the 8th Thorium Energy Alliance Conference got viewed over 10,000 times, a clear indicator that he is working on something new and exciting. Purely for reference sake, the views for my video on the same conference barely reached more than 2,000 views over two months, whereas ads reached 10,000 in three weeks. But then again, he is offering actual scientific solutions, whereas I am only there to diss on renewables a little. His message is far more important than mine because I was trying to prove a negative while he is building something positive. But don't be worried. We and a couple of other friends had dinner at a fish restaurant and I genuinely feel enriched by having met him and trying to make you aware of his successes. Not only is he fiendishly smart, but he is also very kind. So what was his presentation all about? Ed File is a founder and the chief technology officer of a company called Elysium Industries. Elysium Industries is working on a molten chloride fast reactor in which they use as many materials and components that have been licensed by the regulatory bodies. Some of the great aspects about this design is that it uses cheap and easy to get materials and elements. Check out the website of Elysium Industries if you want to learn what they have to say about their design. It's really cool stuff. Also, don't forget to check out the video itself and share it far and wide because it deserves a much broader audience. Next, I want to congratulate my buddies over at Thorcon Power. Indonesia has just announced that they will be establishing a nuclear roadmap and that it is highly likely that Thorcom Power will be the company to work with Indonesia to commercialize their iteration of the original molten salt reactor experiment. They have designed a thermal spectrum uranium burner consisting out of modules and is cost competitive with all other contemporary energy resources. And this reactor also offers a possibility to increase the learning curve for nuclear technologies and sciences even more. Also, I must congratulate Terrestrial Energy, and this one is long overdue. They have passed the first phase of the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission's Vendor Design Review. Let me quote from Rod Adams' article on Forbes, and this is actually from Simon Irish. One of the biggest challenges when developing new reactor technology is reducing the risk associated with obtaining an operating license. Successfully completing the regulatory scrutiny included in the vendor design review encourages potential utility customers to see there is a bounded risk associated with obtaining an operating license for a project using the review design. We can now talk to our stakeholders about the results of the review and move on to Phase 2 of the design review in Canada. Phase 2 requires further design detail. It takes about 18 months to 2 years. The opinion issued after that stage is successfully completed is a very important statement about the presence or lack of any fundamental barriers to licensing. End of quote. Needless to say, Terrestrial Energy and Thorcom Power are both making good progress. Their diligence is unparalleled and will lead to success. If they keep this up, we will have our first practical molten salt reactor tests and perhaps even commercialization somewhere in the 2020s. And then there are these little news bits that I want to share with you. As you might have seen in the previous video, my friends Mike Conley and Tim Maloney have published their Roadmap to Nowhere. It's one of the most accessible books in the Solutions Project. It has gotten some love from Jim Conka, who is a valued contributor at Forbes and a real ally in the world of nuclear communication. You will find a link to the article and the book in the description. I also want to highlight Meredith Joan Angwin's book called 
Campaigning for Clean Air, which is an excellent choice if you are into nuclear advocacy and need some advice. And George Erickson, my trusted proofreader and editor, has decided to make his book, Unintended Consequences, The Lie That Killed Millions and Accelerated Climate Change, available for free. It's a really good book that delves into the falsehoods of the linear no safe threshold hypothesis and shows why we need nuclear to push the brakes on climate change. You'll also find the links to his book and website in the description below. We are almost at the end of this video. Some things come for free. My videos, for instance. Although patrons help me to create this content by aiding me financially. Here's a couple of causes I want to highlight, especially because we are in the holiday season. And there's always people looking for good causes to support, other than my own. Wink wink. First, it's Michael Schellenberger. He is running for governor in the mighty state of California. He can use all the support he can get. He needs your voice and vote. Check out this website to see how you can help him. Second, it's Generation Atomic, my activist friends. They are doing invaluable work, literally taking to the streets, talking to tens of thousands of people, educating them about nuclear, and traveling the world pointing out inconsistencies at COP23, for instance. They also could really use your help. Third, it's Gordon McDowell. He's the chronicler of everything thorium and molten salts. Consider helping him on Patreon as well. And then there's these, Bright New World by my good friend Ben Hurd, Californians for Green Nuclear Power by my good friend Alex Canera, Mothers for Nuclear by Heather and Kristen, the Energy Reality Project by Rick Maltese. I know this is a lot, but when you want to make a positive impact on this world and work hard for it, it deserves not only recognition but also support. I want to thank you for everything you can do for these people. I know I must have left out a couple of people and other good causes, but do note that I have limited time. These are the ones I share real friendships with and receive support from in return. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.